um, your contact page. This is where your readers actually get to send you messages. Okay. They actually get to say, Hey, um, I have a question about this or, Hey, I like the content you have on your website, or maybe your visitors sometimes, and I hate to say this, but sometimes you do get spam. And when I say spam, I mean, it's just somebody saying, Hey, I saw your website. Um, I have this service. You might like this. I didn't ask you to send me that, you know? But hey, it's part of what goes with it. Now, what I want to do at this time is I actually want to show you some ways that you can set up your own contact page. Okay. First, we're going to use contact form seven. Okay. So let me go ahead and get my browser up here. Oops, back up. All right. Um, I'll tap. Okay. Now I have a, a test site here that we're going to use tonight. Um, and I'm just going to go to the dashboard area and we're going to install contact form seven. Okay. So we're going to go to installed plugins and actually I need to deactivate another plugin because I don't think we can use both of them at the same time. Let me deactivate this one. Okay. Now, we're going to go to under plugins. We're going to go to add new. Okay. Now we're going to search for contact form seven and click search plugins. All right, and there it is, contact form seven. I'm just gonna click install now. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? I'm gonna click okay. Okay, and now it went ahead and told me that it downloaded the installation pack, unpacked it, installed it, and uh, successful installation of the plugin contact form seven. Activate plugin, click. Okay, so now the plugin is activated. And again, you notice here, once I install this plugin, there is a direct link to the settings page. I really love it when plugins do this because it makes it so much easier for me rather than having to scroll all the way down to the bottom and figure out where the contact form seven link is. So I'm going to click on settings. Okay. All right. And now let me close some of these bars here. So I don't need all this stuff. Not now anyway. Web developer toolbar. Okay. All right. So here it tells me my contact form. That's the name of my contact form. And this is the short code that I can use to add it to a post or a page. If I scroll down, this is my actual content, my contact form. OK, um, notice it's going to be your name, um, the email address, the subject, the message. This is what it's going to ask the person for. OK, now this is where it's going to send the um, contact to. So I'll put my email address that I want to send this to and I'm going to put um, it'll put my name in there and the subject and I could add anything else I want to add to this. Um, or I can, and I can also send it to a second email message. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy this contact form, copy my short code, save it. I'm not going to customize it any way I could, but that's not the point of this, um, training. All right. So let's click on pages. We're going to actually create a contact page, um, add new. And because I'm working with such a small screen here, I'm going to go ahead and change this so that I'm only dealing with one column. All right. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to collapse my menu here just to give me a little more space to work with. Okay. So now I'm going to add a title to my page. I'm going to call it contact. And here 
in the dialog box in the um actual content box i'm going to paste in my short code okay and that's and i can add some text to it before it if i want um feel free to contact us or me whichever one for more information we look forward to hearing from you okay whatever you need to say to let them know that you want them to contact you now um actually i need to let's see here we go i have to set a layout for um the theme that i'm using so i'm gonna make this layout full width and now i'm gonna go ahead and publish it let's publish my contact form all right and let's take a look at it there's my contact form you see it says feel free to contact us for more information um, it asked them to put in their name their email address subject and their message and you just send it and that's a very basic contact form it basically does the job and it takes little effort on your part okay so that's one example of a contact form 